hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i'm going to introduce my new tool that is a intune device user add and remove tool so with this tool you can add multiple devices or the user to a group or you can remove the bulk of device from a group and let me explain you how you can download this you have to go to my the github ac github account go to the repository and here is the link go here and then just click on the download chip once you download this tool you will get like this exe this is a intune device add and remove tool this exe just double click on it and the tool will launch and what else you need it you should install the microsoft graph on your device if the graph is not installed then here you will get a pop-up like microsoft intune graph is not installed on your device for to install the microsoft graph you need a admin access on your device or you can talk to your the it team they will install it for you once you uh, once you install the microsoft graph you can use this tool and to use this tool definitely you you need a intune account and that should have the intune or intune administrator or the global administrator rights to add or remove the devices from the group let's talk about the functionality of this tool this is like a uh, add devices to the group you can paste the bulk devices here and can add the devices to the group in that case you do not require to collect the object id directly you can paste the device name here in the back end this tool will collect the object id and it will add to the group and you can add the multiple users as well then you can get the group membership like how many devices you can get the device list or the user list from the group what are the devices are available inside the group get the group details like a group name group description and the membership count and if there is any query used you will get the query detail as well now here is a remove device from the group you can remove the device from the group just by clicking here the device will remove from the group and here is a device remove device from the user let's see if you just click on the tool anywhere it will give you the pop-up like you have not logged in please click uh, on connect to login in the intune or the your intra id so you need an intune account or the intra account to log in with this tool now click on connect and once you click on the connect you will get the pop-up to log in in the intune console here is a i have the intune account let me log in with this and uh, let me sign in okay once it sign in it will give you the masses welcome to the microsoft intune you have logged in with this account and sorry you don't have the sufficient permission to add uh, devices or oh, please check with the intune please uh, sorry please check if you have the intune or the global administration permission on your account so you need the permission you should part of the intune administrator or you have to activate your the pim role let's see if i have the permission or not here is my the intune account let me go here and okay let me go to the tenant and let me go to the pim and let's check the role uh, what are the roles is assigned to this group so active assignment we do not have any active assignment to uh, to add the device here should be intune administrator let's activate this okay let me activate my the pim let me mention it something testing and raise a request so I am requesting for the Intune administrator rights from my the PIM if it is not in a uh, active mode. So now still it's not inactive. Let me go to my the another Intune console and let me approve my PIM request first. Approve the request. 
and now click here only uh, the PIM approver can approve the PIM request now the PIM is approved for this account let me log in again back to the same account and just refresh it now I have the Intune administrator rights on my the Intune account let's move back to the tool and we'll start the testing now let me try let's connect again back and now it's showing Intune this account have the sufficient permission to add or remove the devices in the group okay so we are we are fine with the admin rights we are fine with the login we are done with this part now let's go to the Intune console and create a group here so I have already created a one group that we're gonna test it this is a test group it's actually easy to write and see the membership so I have two memberships here and we'll do the testing to add the devices and uh, the users in this group so right here the test group and the device name here I collected the two devices and let's go here and add the devices now click or click add to the group and now it scroll up let's wait okay now scroll down I can delete this if it is not in used so you can see in it adding this this is already in the group and this is added to the group so this tool will let you know if the device is already part of this group you will get a message this device is already part of this group if you seen it here this device is already part of this group so you get a message this is already part of a group and this device is newly added to the group so you will get a message added to the group and let's refresh it now here now this device is added to the group okay let's test it for the user how we can do that where is my users I'm gonna add all three users remove this and add the users and before adding let's validate what are the accounts I have only the one account is added here as a user you can add users or device both at a time or you can add only the devices in the group or only the users in the group let's move it to this tool now add users to the group And now here it's saying this account is added to the group this is already uh, uh, sorry added to the group and this is admin at the rate this already it was part of the group so if it is the device or the user is already part of the group it will let you know uh, it was already of the part of the group let me refresh it now and validate whether the user is added or not now you can see in it's one two three three users is nearly added to the group that means as our tool is working well let's go for the next testing here is a uh, device uh, sorry get the membership click on the membership and here you will get the list of username one sing harvan sing and the intune admin and these are the two devices part of this group let's go to the click uh, let's go to the group details what are the group detail we can get the group name group membership and how many device count this is uh, wrongly I write a device count actually it's a member count and this when it was created if there is any rule is created if it is a dynamic group you will get the query here what the query is used inside the group and last on prem sync if the dev uh, device is uh, sorry if the group is migrated from the your uh, local active directory to intra in that case it will let you know the last sync when the synchronization is happening from the local ad to intra now let's test it for your uh, the device i want to remove these two devices from this group is the group name and let's click here and remove the device now it says removed from the group and removed from the group let test it for these two users and remove from the group and I am clicking here okay now this is removed from the group and this also removed from the group and if we want to check the membership 
just click here and get the membership now under the membership both the devices I removed and now only the one user is available in our group let's go here and check in the Intune console just refresh this and we have only the one user in the group so this is how this tool can work if you guys are facing any difficulties to download or use this tool just let me know text me uh, on on my the article I'm going to publish on the LinkedIn soon and thank you guys you can utilize it really it will save you a lot of time and this tool is available on my the github account you can go to my github account download it from here i mentioned it here uh, prerequisites the tool features you download it and you save your time thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in my next video and please like and subscribe